All right, now that we have the data importer all set up and installed, we want to go through an example of how to use it. Uh, so what I've got is a CMS, an existing CMS with um, data in it that we want to pull from. Uh, in this example, we're going to use blog posts. They're fairly complex, and they give uh, a good example of each of the built-in fields. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go to the SQL database and actually figure out what information we need to pull. So here, we're going to try to pull the blog entries. So we're going to get a SQL window opened up, and then just turn it down to what, just what it is we want to pull. Uh, in this case, I'm not going to pull everything. Uh, I just need enough to show you how to use each of the fields. So, all right, then now we've got uh, just the data we need. And if you look at the information, what you'll see is that, you know, date and everything you expect except the author. The author is a GUID, which means it, like SQL, uh, PsyCorp, it's actually linking to the author's table. So what we want to do is find a way so that we can query this information. And when we insert it into PsyCorp, we're actually going to use uh, another one of the built-in fields to generate the same kind of linking. So we're going to have a separate list of authors, and then when the blog posts are pulled in, we're going to use a drop link to point to that list of authors. So the first thing we're going to have to do, though, is to import the authors themselves, because the authors will have to exist before we import the blog posts. So let's go to the blog authors first. Open up the SQL window, and again, trim out just the information that you need. In this case, I really only want the name. So now that we get that, we're going to jump over to Sitecore. And well, we want to do two things uh, first before we create the import. We want to be able to create a location for the import imported data to exist. And then we want to create a template for the imported data to be inserted into. So let's jump into the content tree, create a folder for authors, and then jump into the template section and create a template for authors. The authors only really need one field name. So with that, hit save. And now we want to go and actually create, uh, in this case, a SQL import. We'll go over SQL imports in a, the next video. So a SQL import. Here, we're going to call it authors. Um, and what you'll see is you're given a set of fields for foldering. In this case, we just want a list. We don't really care about foldering. Uh, we will when we get to the blog posts, but for now, just compress it, uh, collapse that section. We want to paste our, our SQL in here, um, and then we want to select where we're going to import this to, which is the folder that we just created. Then we want to tell it what template that we want to import it to. We want to use the authors, and it wants to know what uh, SQL field we want to pull the name from. In this case, we only have one field, and that's going to be the name. Um, now we want to define how each field is going to be imported. And again, in this case, we only have one field, and we want to use uh, straight text to text. And this is going to be the name. So you're given a section here, and it's asking to what field? And it's asking basically which field in the Sitecore template do you want to put this in? And the name field is the, the one we want to use. This handler class and handler assembly is used for allowing you to customize your own types, being able to you know, write your own class and customize. We'll go into that later in another video. For now, you can just use uh, the default. From what field is asking from what SQL field, what, what SQL result, result field will we use? Again, it was the same uh, name. 
So we're going to set that there. This delimiter is actually uh, provided because it's actually asking from what fields. So you can tell it to import multiple fields into this new field. So if, for example, you know, you had several fields that had, you know, the opening text, the second or third paragraph of the text, and then a footer text, and you wanted it all to go into one body copy field, you could just tell it, um, you know, first paragraph, uh, name, paragraph one, and then so on, paragraph two, paragraph three, and then when you when it's inserting that information into the rich text field, you can tell it to, you know, delimit it by a paragraph tag or a dash or anything really. In this case, we don't have any multiple fields, and we're not going to be delimiting it. So we'll just hit save, and now we're ready to import the authors. So we want to go to the site core, development tools, and the data import. Now this is the actual tool that runs the import. In this case, uh, I've already set up an extra connection string to this SQL database. When you uh, go and want to pull the information from SQL, you're going to want to go and add that connection to your connection strings. And this is going to pull that uh, from there. So you tell it, this is the database. I only have one import setting. And that's the one I want to run. And I'm going to hit import. So now I'm going to refresh this, open it up. Now we have the values here. Uh, it imported the name field correctly. So now we're ready to move on to the importing of the blog posts.